G'day and welcome to another episode of Python for LEGO Robotics. Today we're going to code Leo the Trainer, aka the sit-up robot, using LEGO Spike Prime and Python Loops. Today we're going to go back to basics because I started this Lego Python series about a year ago and it's time we brushed up on some of those basic skills that you need in most of our projects, those being loops and motor control. Before you begin, you have to download the Lego Spike app and also have the Lego Spike Prime kit or the Mindstorms Robot Inventor. And then you'll need to open up Spike Prime and build Leo the Trainer. So here is the Spike Prime app. Uh, you click on Spike Prime, uh, and then you click the Build menu, you scroll down, and you build Leo the Trainer over here. Okay, once you have finished building it, then uh, make sure you connect it up to your computer and follow any instructions uh, that you may have to update your hub. Leo the Trainer has the unenviable title of being the most tormented existence on the Lego Spike app. What is my purpose? You do sit-ups. Oh my god. To code Leo so that he begins his endless workout of sit-ups, we're going to learn about loops, which have two main flavors. The first type is a for loop, where you know exactly how many times you are repeating something. The second type is called a while loop, where you don't necessarily know how many times you're repeating something, but you are repeating while a condition is being met. So let's start with a warm-up activity and connect Leo to our computer. All right, so after building, you go back into the home menu, you click on new project, you call it Leo the Trainer, click on Python, and then hit the create button. So to warm up, let's start with writing loops. Here we're going to write a for loop. Now don't, don't forget that this hash symbol means that everything afterward will turn green and turn into a comment. And comments are ignored by the code. They're just there to uh, remind us what we are writing. So a for loop, we say for i in range 5. What this means is we're going to repeat something five times. That's all it is. And when you hit the enter button at the end of the line, you'll notice that the cursor doesn't go all the way out to the edge. It is indented, okay? And this is deliberate. Everything that we want to be repeating in this loop needs to be in one indentation level um, uh, compared with uh, the start. So here, if I wanted to outdent, then I hit the backspace key. If I want to indent back again, I hit the tab key. The tab key is next to the Q key. All right. So here we're going to get uh, our hub, which is the, the main part of the robot to make a beep sound. Okay. So hub dot speaker dot, and I believe it is beep. So here, let's have a look at our speaker. Here we go. Beep. Uh, and then you have two arguments here. So hub.speaker.beep and then 60, uh, 0 0.5. So the first number inside uh, the beep method is the pitch, so how high or low your, your beep is. And then the second number is the number of seconds you wanted to beep for. Okay. And then we're going to go wait for seconds. 0.2, all right? So it's going to wait for 0.2 seconds, and then uh, it's going to make these five beeps, all right? So when I press the play button, you should hear, um, hear Leo make five beeps. All right, that's great. So it is working. So that is an example of a for loop where we are repeating something uh, for a fixed number of times, okay? The second um, thing that we're going to do is a while loop. So a while loop is a little bit different. We're going to just uh, comment out everything from the for loop. Uh, so triple quotation marks 
uh, in front and behind your code will turn everything in the inside pink and that's going to mean that all of it turns into a comment, uh, not just the line. Okay, It's just a handy way of commenting out blocks of code without having to type hash symbols all the time. So a while loop repeats something while a condition is being met. So let's do the exact same thing using a while loop. So here I'm going to go x equals 0. And then the while loop keyword is the while. Okay, so while x is less than 5, we put a colon and then you press enter again. And then just like the for loop, uh, when you press enter, it indents in the next line. So while x is less than 5, so x is equal to 0 right now. But while the condition is true, so while x is less than 5, we want to do something. We want this hub to make a beep. And wait for a fifth of a second. Okay. So while x is less than 5, uh, which it is because it starts off at 0, we're going to make a beep and wait for a split second. Uh, but if I just play it now, it's going to make just beeps forever because x is still at zero. It's never going to stop. Actually, let's let's test it out. Let's hit the play button. You can hear that the beeps are never going to stop. Okay, uh, this is because the x value that we have written here is not changing. It's constantly at zero. And while x is less than 5, it's going to keep on repeating the beep. So let's stop that code. So that means that we need to increment or increase our x value. So here we're going to say x plus equals 1. And x plus equals 1 is the same as x equals x plus 1. Okay, so uh, that this is just a shortcut for us programmers. And uh, here are the, those two different types of loops. So the first type is a for loop where you know exactly how much you are repeating. And then the second one is a while loop where we are repeating something based on a condition. So now we've had experience with writing two different types of loops. But before we jump into the main program, let's play a game of To play songs in code, all you have to do is look at the clue I've written in Python over here and guess the song title and artist. Write your guess and explain why in the comment section below. And the comment that identifies the song and the artist and best explains the code will get pinned. Now let's go back to the coding. Alright, so we have written our for loops and our while loops. Uh, but now let's comment everything out. Let's comment all that out because we don't need to make those beeps uh, but what we, what we do need is we need to scroll back up to the start of the page so that we define our uh, uh, our motors so here we're going to go uh, left motor equal to motor f this means that our uh, left leg of our uh, of our robot is uh, attached to port F. So uh, if you haven't built it correctly, then make sure that uh, you are using the right port letter. Okay, the right motor equals the motor at port B. After that, we're going to write a simple function. So here we're going to do our, our sit up function, and a function is a, a shortcut. It's like a my block in Scratch, uh, where we do anything we want to repeat. So uh, these sit-ups, we want to be able to repeat them quite easily. So this is where we're going to write our sit-up code. So def stands for define a function, and then we go sit up, open close brackets, and colon. When you hit the t enter key, we uh, automatically indent in the next line. So here, let's do a sit-up right motor dot start at a speed of 50. This means that we're going to move the right motor, the right leg, in a clockwise position. Left motor dot start at negative 50. 
Because the left and right motors are on opposite sides of the robot, they need to move in opposite directions to make the robot move back and forward. Once they started moving, we are going to wait for a second. And then we do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. So now, right motor dot start at negative 50. And then left motor dot start at positive 50. And then we wait for a second. At the end of our sit-up, we stop our motors. So right motor dot stop. Left motor, let's stop. Okay, so now this is just one sit-up, and we've only defined the function of the sit-up. We haven't called the sit-up. So let's make uh, Leo the trainer do five sit-ups by copying the code underneath here. Okay, so do five sit-ups. No, for i in range five, colon and then sit up okay super duper easy when you run the code you'll see that leo will do five sit ups yep that's one and two three four five okay it's working perfectly and that's how we do a uh, a simple loop to make Leo do five sit-ups. But what if I want to uh, do something a little bit more fancy? I want you to get the force sensor out from your box. Force sensor looks kind of like this, okay? Uh, it's the one with the button on the end of it. I want you to plug it in to port D. And now I want to make it so that uh, Leo is going to keep doing sit-ups as long as I hold on to the button, and then you'll stop doing sit-ups when I let go of the button, okay? And this is going to be an example of using a while loop, because uh, there's no telling how long I'm gonna push my uh, finger on the button, right? We want Leo to be repeating something while my hand is on the button, okay? So uh, put your force sensor into port D, and then let's update our code. Here we go, so this is to do five sit-ups, but let's write another one where we are going to uh, do sit-ups while force sensor is pressed. Okay, uh, so to do this part here, we need to go back up to the top to define our force, uh, to uh, set the object of our force sensor. So here, we go up to where we set our motors, we're going to go force underscore sensor equals force sensor at D. Okay, make sure that your port numbers are all correct or your port letters are all correct. All right, so now we're going to do two while loops, one while loop inside another. And I'll explain why. So if I go while, then Python is going to check whatever I put in afterwards uh, as a logic block. If it is true, then it keeps on repeating itself, okay? So here I say while force sensor dot is pressed, then I'm going to do a sit up, okay? But here's a problem. Uh, if, I, if I just press the, um, the, the play button, um, and I try to hit the button on the force sensor, it's not going to do any sit-ups. And that's because Python runs really, really quickly. It ran through all 46 lines of my code in a split second. And then it only did this check while the force sensor is pressed right at the start when it ran the program. We don't want to just check it once, we want to continuously be checking it. And that is why we need to add another loop around this while loop. So the other loop is going to be a forever loop. So while true colon, and then everything underneath, we hit the tab key, all right? So that is a while loop inside a while loop. Now, because it is checking forever, it is continuously checking from the first 
while loop, uh, whether or not the sensor is being pressed, uh, now it is going to do what we want it to do, which is to make a uh, sit up as long as we're pressing on this uh, button. Okay, so as long as I hold on to this button, the other trainer is going to continue doing these sit ups. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, More Educational. Ever since Creator Academy started making LEGO education videos, we have been greatly supported by the experts at More Educational. They are an authorized partner of LEGO Education with over 20 years experience working with LEGO Education products. So if you're in Australia and you want to buy genuine LEGO Education products like the ones shown in this video, then make sure you check out the More Educational website. That's it from me today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.